if you're going to uh, click on left uh, viewport and using uh, the pen view kind of pen it and then using the zoom tool get to it you're gonna see that you're about like so not getting out of the base box okay the next thing what we want to do uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, create a copy so make sure that your cylinder is uh, selected we're gonna clone it as again edit uh, clone object copy we're gonna click OK and we're gonna make a hole in this cylinder so what we wanna do we wanna scale it now so we have we are right now on our second object we're gonna click on scale and uniform tool and go to our uh, top viewport right click of your mouse button on the top viewport and then using the small yellow triangle put your mouse over it and then click a left mouse button scale it just a little bit like so just scale it down just a little bit the next thing what we want to do um, we want to click back to our larger cylinder so go ahead and click on the select object icon and then select our lar larger cylinder then go to create then go to geometry click on that icon and then if it doesn't say compound object you want to click on it whatever it says and select the compound object then you want to go ahead and click select the boolean and we're going to create the um, hole but before you're going to uh, click the boolean make sure that your smaller cylinder is uh, getting uh, outside of the larger cylinder otherwise the hole will not uh, be visible it's just going to be inside so let's go ahead and before we're going to create boolean um, let's go ahead and uh, click uh, select object if you click on the boolean a button that's fine just go ahead and click undo make sure it's unselected go ahead and click on select object here and uh, over here select by name to click on it it's going to bring you some option where you can select what object you would like to select let's say you have multiple objects and one object is inside of another object and it's kind of hard to select that object you want to click select uh, objects tool and then as I did right here select by name I'm sorry click on it and it's going to be and then you want to go ahead and click base cylinder base cylinder 01 and I know it's going to be a whole a smaller cylinder I'm going to click OK on it make sure it's highlighted now you can see in our viewport the smaller cylinder is selected I'm going to use uh, the select and uniform scale tool and I'm going to go ahead and click front viewport right mouse button make sure I'm in front viewport and I'm going to scale it by Y by green axis like so and then just a little bit so it's getting out of the larger cylinder only by make sure it's by the green axis which is Y right here you gonna click on that axis and then with your left mouse button and then move your mouse until it's going to be like something like that and then you're going to go ahead and click on the select the move tool and move it by the green axis which is Y to the top and it's going to get out of the that box I mean of that uh, cylinder and the box as well as uh, base box and base cylinder from the top and from the bottom you want to make sure you have from the top and from the bottom it's out of those cylinder and out of the base box the next thing what you want to do you want to go ahead and click on the larger cylinder it's selected now now you want to go uh, to create um, geometry compound object and boolean why I did so because before we didn't get out of the larger cylinder so if we will use the boolean we would create inside of the cylinder the holes and we're not going to see them so I kinda enlarge the cylinder from top and bottom our smaller cylinder so now where we're going to select it as uh, upper and B is going to create a perfect hole click on boolean make sure it's selected 
pick open B and now you want to select the smaller cylinder which is going to be on our top click on it and now it's hole inside of the larger cylinder you're going to go to the modify click on modify button it's going to say boolean as you already know right click on it and convert it as a double poly as you already know so we can work with this as a poly and it's going to become as one 3D object from those two uh, objects alright and uh, let's use our zoom tool zoom out a little bit and let's use our orbit sub object tool and kinda rotate our perspective camera make sure you're in perspective view do not use the uh, orbit sub object tool in our front view the top view or left view what happened to it if you're going to use it let's say I select the orbit sub object tool right here and then I'm going to to my top view right click on it and again orbit sub object tool and I'm going to use it over here you can see I messed up my top viewport now it's kinda like a perspective and it's bad it's going to say uh, uh, orthographic you, you need to click on it and click top left mouse on it and select top it's going to bring it back to the top so if you're going to mess up any of the viewports you can bring it back okay going back to the perspective view with the right click of my mouse button make sure it's selected like so I'm going to go ahead and click rendering and render it's kinda gonna have a look and it's perfect as you can see holes then I have the cylinder inside of the cylinder holes so we have uh, the perfect uh, base now we need to create the fan with the fence so let's go ahead and do so so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure my top view port is selected I'm going to click right click mouse button and then I'm going to go ahead and click create and then if it's compound object I'm going to click on it and select st standard primitives click on the standard primitives make sure you're under the geometry and standard primitives I'm going to create the cylinder I'm going to click cylinder and kinda in the center click my mouse button in the top viewport and start moving my mouse creating the cylinder like about like so like this big the next thing what I'm going to do release my mouse mouse and create the height of the cylinder like so you can see in different viewports like this viewport right here you can see I'm creating the height okay create the height okay and click my left mouse button and now I created the cylinder I'm going to go ahead and position my uh, using the pen view my uh, left viewport this guy right here right mouse click on it and then again using the pen view when it's selected kinda position it and kinda zoom out see where I'm at at my left viewport x-ray so I'm going to see where, where I'm exactly at kinda in the center nice then I'm going to go ahead and click on this select move tool and uh, let's go ahead and move this cylinder out in our view, top viewport click on top viewport and move move it with the view uh, with the move select tool okay the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to use my pen view and I'm kinda gonna pen view on it like so kinda zoom in like so kinda place it in the center kinda move it a little more on the X axis alright as you can see uh, my perspective view is not in there and we got lost our 2D model how to bring it to, to the camera view just go ahead and right click on your perspective view and now let's go ahead and click on the icon right here which says zoom extends selected so if our cylinder is selected or any model is selected in 3D space if you're gonna click on this icon it's just going to bring uh, the camera in that viewport right on an object if you want to get out from the object you're gonna click left mouse on this icon hold it it's more menu is going to come up and you're going to click on this icon right here you're gonna zoom out automatically but camera will be focused on that object still be focused if you want to zoom in back and select the lower icon which says zoom extend selected 
All right, so we can see uh, our object that we're working currently. All right, go ahead and click on the modify and uh, make sure the cylinder is selected and slides. We don't want uh, 128, too many polys to working with or edges. And uh, as our reference image, we can see that we have seven fins. And so let's get back to our 3ds max and we want to create a 14 14 slides why 14 slides because we have seven to work with and seven which is going to be as our base and on our sites so the next thing what I want to do I want to go ahead and click on the cylinder right click of my mouse button and select editable poly now it's editable poly so we can modify its shape as we already learned by watching this tutorial and we're going to go ahead and scroll up this options to the top and the next thing what we want to do we want to select the um, polygons so we are going to click on the polygon icon over here is going to get selected and now we're going to use the orbit objects uh, orbit sub object tool over here click on it kind of bring our camera something like so in our perspective view and start selecting the polygons you're gonna skip one then using orbit sub object tool rotate, rotate our camera view a little bit using the control button you're gonna hold the control button when you're going to select another polygon so it's going to select the multiple polygons 